What's up, this boy CJ Goodfellow back with the Boston Clinic doing another video. Um, Kel Brook graciously accepts Earl Spence, the challenge of Earl Spence. He had actually applied for something for an extension on whether he wanted to fight Earl Spence. I thought he was just holding up Spence from getting the world title, which most likely would have been versus Constantine Pumov, Andre Berto, or uh, Bradley Skeet maybe. Um, an easy fight, but Kell Brook is going to try to squeeze from 160 down to 147. Um, I think he has the right nutritionist to do it, but will he be as comfortable at 147 as he was at 160 with Gennady Golovkin? And if that's the case, um, he can help. He can healthy, healthily make 147. I think he knocks Earl Spence's dick in the dirt, um, but that's a big if from this standpoint. A lot of people. Um, you can look at it from two views. Uh, he stood up to Golovkin and hit Golovkin with good shots. Because um, he had extra power. But the skills were setting up those shots. But what Earl Spence brings to the table was totally different from Gianni Golovkin. They're both good pressure fighters. I think Golovkin cuts the ring off a little better than Earl Spence. And I think um, Golovkin has a proven chin. More proven chin than Earl Spence does also. Um, but... Earl Spence is a better athlete. He's probably got quicker feet, quicker hands, um, and he's a strong puncher. And when you put speed in the equation with a good pressure fighter and some boxing abilities that he probably hasn't showed as a pro, um, it's going to be a tough fight for Kell Brook, especially with the weight advantage. And a lot of people say, well, Kell Brook, his movement's not good enough. Um, Kell Brook is a very crafty fighter, similar to like a Danny Garcia. Um, I think he's a way better athlete than Danny Garcia, but he's very crafty. And one thing people don't equate for um, Kell Brook is that he's a very, very accurate puncher. Um, he doesn't waste punches in there. And if Earl Spence thinks he's going to walk him down, just like he walks down those um, sea fighters that he's been fighting, um, it's not going to happen. It's not going to be that easy. Kell Brook can create angles. Kell Brook can use his jab. Kell Brook throws each punch technically right. Um, and Kell Brook is a very physically big man, even at 147. So he can match Earl Spence's technic his uh, physicality. And a lot of people just think that Earl Spence is the next best thing since sliced bread. But in my opinion, he hasn't been tested. His chin is not tested. He hasn't shown any head movement at the pro level. He hasn't shown any type of elite defense at all. He ha doesn't move that head. And Kell Brook will move his head. You know, it's not the greatest head movement. But Kell Brook has been in a dog fight with Sean Porter. And people like, well, you know, Earl Spencer walked through Sean Porter. How do you know that? He hasn't fought anybody on that level. Chris Algeri was a career kickboxer. Leonard Bundu was an undefeated fighter. But he struggled with some, some you know, subpar people on the European level if you follow his career. Well, Keith Thurman, you can't compare fights. So it's not going to be easy walking the park with Earl Spence versus Kell Brook. Either way, it's going to be a tough competitive fight. Um, I'm gone.